हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand voltage tripler and quadrupler. Voltage tripler means the output voltage will be three times the input voltage. Voltage quadrupler means output voltage will be four times the input voltage. So this is the circuit which is used to produce the output voltage two times, three times, or four times the input voltage. Here we have connected a transformer. and secondary of the transformer the voltage is vm this voltage will act as input to the circuit here we have connected four diodes as well as four capacitors as shown in this figure which are named as d1 d2 d3 and d4 and c1 c2 c3 and c4 now let us see the operation of this circuit by considering the ac signal for this ac signal we are having positive half as well as negative half of the cycle so we will consider each half of the cycle and we will understand the working of this circuit now during positive half of input cycle during positive half of input cycle the polarity across the secondary of the transformer will be positive and negative so due to this polarity capacitor c1 will be charged with positive and negative and diode d1 will be positive negative d2 will be positive and negative d3 positive negative and d4 positive and negative so due to this polarity diode d1 is forward bias diode d2 is reverse bias diode d3 will be forward bias and diode d4 will be reverse bias so current will flow in this clockwise direction like this so if we apply kvl if we apply kvl so at that case we can write vm minus vc1 let us consider vc1 as the voltage across the capacitor c1 so that will be equal to zero so from this we can say vc1 is equal to vm so we understood that the voltage across capacitor c1 will be vm during first positive half of the input cycle now during next half of input cycle which is negative half of input cycle so the polarity across the secondary of the transformer will be negative and positive so same polarity will appear across each diode so it will be negative and positive and the voltage across c1 is already vm now due to this polarities diode d1 will be reverse bias d2 will be forward bias d3 will be reverse bias and d4 will be forward bias now due to reverse bias condition diode d1 and d3 will not be conducting and diode d2 and d4 will be conducting hence the current will flow in this direction so we can write using kvl vm minus vc2 vc2 is the voltage across capacitor c2 plus vm is equal to zero so from this we'll get vc2 is equal to 2 vm so voltage across capacitor c2 will be 2 vm now during next positive half of input cycle again polarity will be positive and negative so diode d1 will be forward bias d2 will be reverse bias d3 will be forward bias and d4 will be reverse bias so voltage across c1 is vm voltage across c2 is 2 vm so due to this polarity the capacitor c3 will have the polarity positive and negative now 
diode D1 will be forward bias which will be conducting, D2 will not be conducting due to reverse bias condition, D3 will be conducting due to forward bias condition and D4 will not conduct due to reverse bias condition. Now the current will flow in this direction. Now if you apply KVL, we can write 2Vm minus Vc3 will be equal to 0. So here Vc3 is the voltage across capacitor C3. So from this we can say Vc3 is equal to 2Vm. So from this we understood that voltage across capacitor C3 will be 2Vm. Now during next negative half of input cycle, polarity across secondary of the transformer will be negative and positive which will make diode D1 as reverse bias, D2 as forward bias, D3 as again reverse bias and D4 as forward bias. Voltage across C1 is Vm, voltage across C2 is 2Vm, voltage across C3 is 2Vm. Polarity across capacitor C4 will be positive and negative. Now the current will flow in the last branch in this direction. If we apply KVL, so we can write 2Vm minus Vc4. Here Vc4 is the voltage across capacitor C4 will be equal to 0. So from this we can write Vc4 is equal to 2Vm. Now we obtain voltage across capacitor C4 as 2Vm. Now in this circuit, if we measure voltage across capacitor C2, so we will get output voltage as 2Vm. So if we measure output voltage between capacitor C2 and C4, we will get output voltage as 2Vm plus 2Vm that will be 4Vm. So output voltage will be 4Vm. Now in this circuit, if we measure output voltage between capacitor C1 and C3, so we will get output voltage as Vm plus 2Vm that is 3Vm. So output voltage V0 will be equal to 3 Vm. In this circuit, we are getting output voltage as 2 Vm, 3 Vm and 4 Vm which means we are getting the output voltage twice the input voltage, 3 times the input voltage as well as 4 times the input voltage. Hence we can say this circuit can be used as voltage doubler, voltage tripler as well as voltage quadrupler. So this is about voltage tripler and quadrupler. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.